Let's take a look at whether NaHCO3, that's aqueous, is acidic, basic, or neutral. So we're talking about sodium bicarbonate. This is the bicarbonate ion, sometimes called sodium hydrogen carbonate. And we're talking about it dissolved in water, aqueous. We want to know if it's an acid, base, or neutral when it's in water. We could look at it this way. We could figure out what we would add together in a neutralization reaction to end up with NaHCO3. So we took sodium hydroxide, and if we added, say, carbonic acid, H2CO3, and we add these two together, we'll get NaCO3, but the sodium would have a positive charge, and we have a two negative charge for the whole carbonate ion. So we need two sodium atoms here, and then we get water because it's neutralization. Let's balance this really quickly. And these substances here would be aqueous. So now we can use these general rules here to figure out whether NaHCO3 is acidic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So this table here might help us. Sodium hydroxide, that is a strong base. So sodium hydroxide, strong base. Carbonic acid, not on our list of strong acids. So that's going to be a weak acid. And in fact, it's one that you probably should memorize. So it's carbonic acid here, weak acid. Now if we look at our rules, strong base, strong acid, nope. Weak base, nope. Strong base, weak acid. That's what we have up here. pH should be greater than 7. So NaHCO3 should be basic, also called alkaline, when it's dissolved in water. Its pH would be above 7. Not a whole lot, probably close to 8 maybe, but still alkaline above 7. So in answer to our question, NaHCO3, when it's aqueous, it is basic, or also called alkaline, when dissolved in water. You can think of it this way. We have Na+, plus and the whole hydrogen carbonate is 1 minus. So the Na, we'd have Na+, plus, that would be aqueous. And then our hydrogen carbonate ion right here, that would be aqueous as well. When it's dissolved in water, we end up with H2CO3 and OH. OH minus, this OH minus here, that's what makes it a base. So if this is in an open system, the carbonic acid, it would actually break down into CO2 and water. CO2 is a gas that would leave the system, water neutral pH. So we'd have an excess of these hydroxide ions. That's what makes NaHCO3 basic when it's dissolved in water, these OH minus ions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.